We need you for four more years. Four more years. Here in Chicago today, it felt like President Biden's 2024 re-election campaign was already underway. He raised some big bucks at two fundraisers on the near south side. And Biden bragged about his handling of the economy, and many voters seem skeptical. Our political editor, Mike Flannery, has more. The president told a crowd in the lobby of downtown's old post office that the economy deserves to be the centerpiece of his bid for a second term. Today, the U.S. has the highest economic growth rate leading the world economies since the pandemic, the highest in the world. As Dick said, with this help, we created 13.4 million new jobs. That, of course, reflects recovery from pandemic-related shutdowns. But the president and his allies argue Bidenomics accelerated it. Now I'm being introduced to Bidenomics, and I like what I see. I like what it means for America. Bidenomics is about building an economy from the middle out and the bottom up, not the top down. Bidenomics is a term originally coined by Republicans to be an insult to what they see as a wasteful, multi-trillion dollar spending spree by the president and congressional Democrats. A recent survey found only 36 percent of Americans approve Biden's handling of the economy, with just 24 percent calling the economy either excellent or good. Many seem worried about inflation. For his part, Biden vowed to undo Republican policies he insults as, quote, trickle down. Under trickle down economics, it didn't matter whether you made things as long as you helped the company's bottom line. Even if that meant seeing jobs and industries go overseas for cheaper labor. One of the fundraisers for Biden today was hosted by Governor Pritzker and his wife with Mayor Brandon Johnson and former Mayor Lori Lightfoot among those attending. I'm political editor Mike Flannery.